Hi there, Sean Howard here from Mortgage Architects. Um, you arrived in the section uh, where you already own a home. So if you already own a home and you're looking for a mortgage, then you probably fall into one of the following categories. You're probably buying another home. Um, it could be a second home or it could be an investment property. Um, if you already own your home and you're looking for a mortgage, um, your mortgage may be coming up for maturity and that puts you into a different category. And if your home is coming up for maturity, then um, you may be just looking to see what other options you have out there. Um, if you want to change lenders, perhaps, uh, that would be called a switch. Uh, and another possibility is when your mortgage comes up for maturity, um, that you're interested in taking some money out of the home, either in the form of uh, refinance, which means that you would receive a certain lump sum to pay out your existing mortgage and then have extra to do something else with it, you know, like renovations or something like that. Um, or it may be that you don't want the money right away, but you want to have the option of uh, using the money in the future in the form of a uh, home equity line of credit. And um, a lot of people will call us up and say, uh, do you do equity loans? Yes, we do equity loans because pretty much any loan um, that uses your home as security or people will say collateral. It's not quite the right term, but um, if it's using your home as security, then it's an, it's an equity loan. Okay, so a mortgage is a type of equity loan. Um, so yes, uh, we can help you with that. Um, another possibility is, uh, that you own your home and you would like to take out a second mortgage. So your mortgage isn't coming due yet. Uh, it doesn't come due for, you know, two or three years or something like that. And, um, and you need some extra money. So you might need to get a second mortgage. Uh, and usually those are private, a private second mortgage. Um, and the, the point of doing that is so that you avoid the penalty. Usually we'll do second mortgages short term until the maturity of the first mortgage. And then we combine everything back together again because second mortgages are generally uh, expensive or more expensive than first mortgages because the risk is higher. Higher the risk more expensive, generally speaking. Um, another possibility is if you already own your home, um, that it's paid off and you would like to take some money out, but you can't really afford it. So let's say that you're a retiree and uh, you have limited income and you'd like to mm, extract some of the equity in your home to live off of or to gift to a family member or pay for a grandchild's education or invest the money uh, elsewhere in an investment property or otherwise. Um, but if you can't afford it, then uh, another possibility is that you go with a reverse mortgage, which is pretty much identical to a regular mortgage, except that you don't have payments. So they delay the interest payments until the time when you sell the home, essentially. Um, so that's another possibility if you own your own home. Um, and uh, other than that, um, another possibility if you own your own home and you're looking for a mortgage uh, you might be purchasing another home and selling your existing home. Uh, that's pretty common. And 
usually what we'll try to do with those people, unless the existing mortgage that you have on your home is maturing at the same time or around the same time um, that you're moving and buying the new one, um, we always try to do what's best for the client and what's 99% of the time best for the client to investigate first is to port the mortgage to the new property. Um, and what that means is instead of breaking your mortgage and paying them out and paying a penalty and then setting up a brand new mortgage in for the new home that you're purchasing, um, what most banks will do because they want to continue with your business if you have paid your mortgage well um, is uh, just take the existing mortgage that they have that you have with them and then move it to the new property yes you will need to reapprove yourself uh, with them um, and sometimes you have to increase it if you're upgrading uh, but it in this way, by porting the mortgage, by carrying it to the new property, um, you avoid that penalty. So those are the main categories of uh, what people usually try to do when they already own their homes. And we'll go into more detail in uh, other videos under each of those categories.